Ballots are heading to Spokane homes for a special election. On the ballot is the renewal of Spokane Fire's EMS levy. Thanks for staying up with us on Nightside. I'm Neil Wong. Aaron Luna has the night off. The levy will expire this year, and the fire department says it's necessary for the community. New on Nightside, Caitlin Knapp explains what you need to know about the levy. The levy covers a wide range of medical calls, like car accidents or a heart attack. Spokane Fire says without the renewal, it's possible 80 jobs will go away. The EMS levy is worth $13 million over six years. Money the Spokane Fire Department gets from you. Renewing this levy would allow the fire department to continue its tradition of providing those services throughout the city of Spokane and to its visitors every year for the next six years. Spokane Fire Chief Brian Schaefer says the EMS levy pays for about 80 full-time paramedics that you may come across. It may be a technical rescue, it may be a motor vehicle accident with injuries, or it may be somebody experiencing a heart attack and everything in between. The rate of this levy is the same as the previous one six years ago. It's 50 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. So, for example, if your home is worth $300,000, you'll pay about $150 to your property tax. Over 85% of the incident volume that the Spokane Fire Department responds to involves emergency medical services. Opponents of the levy say the city has allowed the fire department to needlessly cost the citizens money. The consequences of that would be the fire department paramedic program and medical component of the fire department uh, being removed and an alternative service delivery model probably explored by the community. Chief Schaefer says the levy has always been approved by voters and believes it's necessary to keep serving Spokane. The message for us is that EMS saves lives in the community. Because it's a levy, it needs a simple majority vote to pass, so 50% plus one. The final day to turn in your ballot is April 26th. In studio, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Nightside.